All right, what's up guys? It's Nick from Lively Outdoors. I'm out here at Thor, the VIP range. There's a dude over there sitting in a chair shooting something at like five yards. I don't, I don't know, I got a little confused. So I walked over here to this bay. This is our 50 yard bay over here. And I recently, well, I say recently, yesterday, picked up a Springfield Hellcat Pro because they had it in a bundle pack. I've been toying around with getting one of these just to check it out because I've never owned a Springfield plastic gun. So I kind of wanted to do that. I wasn't too fond of the way the Hellcat, just the, the regular Hellcat felt. I may really like it. I don't know. I haven't tried it, but uh, I went with a Pro because it holds 15 rounds. Completely loaded. It's 26 ounces. Uh, it's like, well, it's like 26.8 ounces. And uh, it's right at 27 ounces with 16 rounds in it. So uh, that's the one in the chamber. But on this pack, you get the gear up. You get the pistol, five mags, and a ring bag. I went ahead and loaded the mags because it's like 28 degrees right now. And I didn't, my fingers probably wouldn't work very good. But I've got all my mags loaded. I've got whole crap ton of ammo in my backpack and we're gonna sit out here and shoot 11 crap out of this thing uh the gun itself is pretty small i mean it's not small small that's kind of why i liked it it's about the size actually of like a glock 19 except thinner and uh it's pretty much the height is about the size of a 19 the length is just a hair shorter i believe but i'll be honest with you guys it triggers crap so i may shoot this thing like crap but i got this out at gun city for 579 and it came with night size you've got a u white u i wasn't sure how i was going to like that but i kept dry firing last night and i kind of actually like it then you got a high vis front night sight and stippling 360 degrees all the way around this bad boy that i really like uh you know on the sig 365 xl and the 365 both uh, like up around where your middle finger will go they don't stipple that for some reason i don't understand that and a lot of different guns will like right on the corners like on the bends right where your fingers tips will wrap around and you'll get a lot of control off of they don't stipple uh, it's always drove me nuts but this one is all the way around and it's got slight little finger humps i don't know if you can tell y'all probably all saw a hellcat pro before this is my first springfield plastic gun ever i've had some of their 1911s i broke them apart and uh, rebuilt them uh, with wilson components back in the day because their frames and their slides are are solid i don't know about nowadays but that was you know 15 years ago but anyway, we're gonna shoot some uh, steel and we're just gonna run the crap out of this thing and uh, see how it goes. If it malfunctions, y'all are gonna be the first to know. If it sucks, y'all are gonna be the first to know. I'm here, as long as you're watching my channel. Was one thing I was kind of a little disappointed in. I hope I threw it back in here. Get the range bag, of course. Air cut pro, I was digging through all this last night. You get a uh, little, I don't know what you call this thing. It's supposed to be like maybe a discreet case, but then you've got Springfield Armory and cannons on it. I've never really understood that. But, uh, I was digging through the paperwork and stuff in here, and I come across this. I wasn't even aware that plastic guns came with shooting targets, but this is what I was a little disappointed in. So I don't know how this is going to go, because it looks like two, four, five six rounds maybe at 10 meters and i don't know if that was actually a person firing that or if that was off a of ransom risk if that was off a of ransom risk this gun may suck but if that was a person firing it, that's that's completely understandable because i mean you know you sit there and fire all day and you get tired of it but uh but if that's off a of ransom risk i mean that's like a three inch group at 10 yards that's yeah. but anyway I'm gonna load up we're gonna shoot see how this goes 
<laughs> Wish me luck. This is my first plastic spring fit. This may be a may be a weird video, guys. We'll see. I really hate these sights. I mean, I hate these sights. You have no room for play in these things. <laughs> I mean, these sights. Yeah. That's, uh, that's awful. That's really awful. No wonder that group sucked. Let's see what I have. Oh, ten pounds. My fingers are cold. Otherwise, I may end up trading this dude off and get me an HK or something. See where this thing is. Y'all still with me? Yeah. All right, this is about 10 yards. Let's see what we got here. There's five rounds. Good God, it's shooting left. It's shooting. That's 10 yards. Okay, I'm sure y'all can tell the difference between the nine millimeter and the 22s, but that's 10 yards. The only way I can do that at 25. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's try this again. All right, I'm gonna hit where the black joins the white on the line. I'm gonna shoot at that. I'm gonna give this thing one more chance. But the accuracy of this is incredibly shit. Oh yeah, that's that's a plus right there. Nice little jam. It's good to add that on there. And another jam. This one sucks. I was really, really hoping this would be a good gun. I mean, you got 15 rounds, night sights, pretty decent. I thought I liked the sights, evidently. I mean, when you send a test target, I'd be embarrassed to send a test target like this. I mean, that's, that's dang near four inches. If I would have seen that before I even bought this thing, I wouldn't have even bought it. Well, I'm gonna give it one more mag. I'm thinking maybe something will straighten up in there. And then I'm just gonna go and Thor and see what they got. And I may end up coming out with something that y'all can actually watch a video on. <laughs> Who knows? I shouldn't, but that may be how it goes. All right, giving it one more round. One more shot here. Stand back here. Well, I obviously no, the accuracy sucks on it. But I'm at about 40 yards right now. And we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna aim just dead center on the plate and see what happens. It's peace. 
piece of crap. Alright, got one. Got two. With a nice little mouth. This three. I mean, this is a slow fire. I promise I don't suck you guys. Yep. Something going on there. Light primer strike. And a dead trigger. And it's now freaking locked up. That's that's amazing. That's that's real good. <sighs> Let's take it over here. All right, here. This is how this is gonna go, guys. I'm not shooting this after, if I can get this thing out. Damn thing is completely locked up. I don't know if there's a round in there. Yeah, there's a round in there. Toast, man. I mean, that's. <laughs> I even fired but like six mags out of this thing. Yeah, there's a round hot. I don't know if I can. Uh, well, I can't take it apart. Like, looks like the casing, the extractor's not even around the casing or something. I don't know. Not exactly sure what's going on, but let's see if we can't just. There we go. Oh, you son of a gun! There we go. All right, that's that's about it. Y'all may not want to call it, but I apologize, guys. Uh, I'm not shooting anymore. Take the son of a gun back. I'm gonna leave all this crap right here. I'm gonna go in Thor and get me a real gun. Cause I'm in the mood to shoot and this is only gonna brought. I've got three, four mags. And this is going back to, I'm not even sending it back to see if they can get it work. I, I'm just gonna take it back. I'll probably take a loss. Can you imagine having this piece of crap in a gunfight? I mean, I, I apologize if y'all own one. Uh, yours may run like a top. That's just the way guns are. But this one, this is my first plastic Springfield. So, uh, I hate to say it, guys, but that's off my list, too. I'm going to run in here to Thor and uh, see what they got on their gun counter. See y'all in a second. the regular 100 yard range. I think this is still on. That's the regular pistol bay. We got all the little plants. Go up in here. Got all the lounge. This is the VIP shooter's lounge. Get you something to drink. You got all these good uh, accessories. You got your Keurig. You got your snacks. You got your cooler. You got your killer chocolate. You can't go wrong with the moon pies. That's all I'm saying, guys. Moon pies is where it's at. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'm just going to grab me a water. Although that orange pineapple looks pretty good. You got ketchup and mustard for their hot dogs. 
got the hot dog warmer right here. Popcorn machine, TV, 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 TV. Bar, free targets. That's where it's at, guys. That's why I come out here so much. Oh yeah, and you got your AR boss. And you got a pigeon throw. Somebody did something bad on that TV. But you got all your flavorings. I mean, it, this place is this place is rigged, guys. If you haven't been out before, you can come check them out. Pretty awesome. Now we're going to the actual shop. Buddy. All right, what we got here? We got an FN, got an FN 57. There's a Hellcat. Let's we'll skip right over that bad boy. Our Sig, another FN. Got a Les Bear and one of the Thor Customs. Some HKs. Oh, you got an HK. You got a P2000. That's a nice little P2000 right there. And a P30L. Mmm. I kind of dig that P30L out there, guys. I don't think their gills are looking really nice. So we got a DP9 TAC OR and a P30SK. Yeah. No, that's a DP9 SK. Let's see what's gold. VIP pricing on the P30L is $7.59. Oh no, yeah, uh, VIP price is seven twenty-five. It's got night sights. That's a B three too. That's a B three, guys. We may end up with that. What's that? All right, guys, we're back at it now. We're gonna try this one. See if this works any better. I was a little frustrated and then my blood sugar dropped down to 47 so i had to eat and drink some capri sun and then eat again but i'm back on it we have got the red and black container here the old trusty and this is a gun i've never had actually believe it or not in hk vp9 sk never owned one we're fixing to see if it runs better than a hellcat pro I've got a lot of VP9 mags at the house, VP9 holsters, should be good to go. We're gonna we're gonna shoot this bad boy and see how it goes. Hopefully it'll go a lot better than Hellcat Pro. All right, let's we'll see if we can put some down range of this bad boy. Racked in good anyway. These VP9s just feel good in your hand, man. Well, there's 10 for 10 at 50. With low blood sugar. <laughs> I think I'll take the HK over the Hellcat Pro any day. <laughs> All right, let's. All right, let's see what we can do here. This bad boy is running. I like this gun. 
I like this trigger a lot. I like that a lot. You need to check them out. They are on Gunbroker, uh, and they've got a website. But they will be under Thor on Gunbroker. And uh, check them out. They've got some cool stuff at Class 3 dealer. Sell full auto, suppress, and everything else. What you got, buddy? I'm just watching. Oh, okay. But yeah, they got uh, they sell suppress, they sell full auto, they sell uh, everything. It's they sell uh, everything like that. It's pretty decent. Very high quality HKs, uh, Smith and Wessons. Uh, they've got a few Rugers. They've got uh, you know just just stuff like that. It's it's pretty cool. And you can get tunnels. I'm trying to learn a reset on this. It's longer than I thought. I thought that reset would be a little shorter on this gun, but it's not. I said I thought that reset would be a little shorter on this, but it's it's actually not. The reset. I keep trying to ride it. <laughs> it's a pretty good little gun though. I, I never seen. Uh, I don't have. Any. You want to shoot it? Are you sure? Oh hell yeah! Let me load up some ammo. You don't want to be in a video. I won't. Be, I won't put you in there. Don't make me look bad unless I look good. There you go. <laughs> shoot real slow and real accurate, and then I'll just hit three X, and it'll make you. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah, shoot a couple mags through there. See what I'll you I'll just do one. I'm not going to use up all your ammo. You're not going to use up all my ammo. I'm just thrilled I actually got something that works now instead of that Hellcat Pro. <laughs> hey, uh, that is nice. It's a pretty decent trigger, man. No pipe. Oh, don't tell me that, man. <laughs> Got it and took it out here. I didn't even clean the damn thing. Yeah. Shoot a little one hand, see how that goes too. A couple in there. Get that close, see what goes on. Shoot another 50. It points good, man. trigger a little bit I think it's a pretty small little gun it's pretty daggum lightweight the uh, trigger pull's excellent on it. I really like it. Uh, 
It definitely runs. Definitely runs. Make sure that's a good 50 with a hollow points. Put these. Alright, we got five out of five. How you doing, buddy? Five out of five on the uh, Winchester Federal. I keep saying Winchester. But Five on the federal HST 124 grain plus piece. All right, guys. The HKVP 9SK is a phenomenal pistol. I'm glad I went with it. I am holding all my crap. I've got my steel gong. I've got my backpack and all my gun and the rest of my ammo over here. And I'm gonna go to Gun City and see how the uh, return of the HK. I mean the. Uh, Hellcat Pro goes. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. The HK is great. I'd steer clear of the Hellcat Pro, just my opinion. But there may be good ones out there. Mine wasn't. Uh, it's all on how you look at it, I guess. But the, the VP9SK turned the video around. See you guys next time.